Take a look at this new video right here of a Florida panther seen walking through the woods. This is in Polk County. Researchers found that video on trail cameras. They have been monitoring for months. Incredible stuff yeah, there. It's, it's all part of ongoing studies yeah. that works to conserve endangered animals. 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian was there as they collected the footage. Panthers hold a special place in a lot of Floridians hearts, but the species is still critically endangered, and that's why work like going into the woods and tracking their movement is so important. Behind these locks could be precious footage of the elusive Florida Panther. On Monday, staffers from Zoo Tampa checked for them on several of these motion sensored trail cameras. Now it's recording. Wow. Florida Panthers are critically endangered. There's less than 200 that we know of out in the wild, so every sighting is really special to us. In collaboration with the F-Stop Foundation, these camps have been placed across Lake Wales Ridge State Forest. It's really important to see where their population is moving um, and also see what other animals are around. We want to make sure that they have enough wildlife to sustain them if they are moving into these locations. Oh, look how overgrown that is. The footage gives an eye inside the woods when no one is around, except the wildlife. We get really excited when we see animals, whether it's an armadillo or a hog, um, and even more excited when we actually see the Florida panther. And later they made that exciting find once again. Look at him go. A healthy male panther they've been tracking in Polk County for months still hanging around. Seeing him and making sure that he can he maintains that body condition and he still continues to do well is really important. And seeing them spread their paws more north also an important sign. Panthers have a major part in Florida's ecosystem and still face threats of a shrinking habitat and more drivers on the road. We haven't seen the population move like we want it to or need it to in order to um, continue to grow the population, but also maintain the numbers that they currently have. But it's work like this that could have a lasting impact, even just raising awareness that more work needs to be done to keep Florida Panthers around for generations to come. It's something that all of Florida is going to have to get behind in order to truly help this species and all the other species that call Florida home. In Polk County, Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay. Aaron Parsegian with another good one there. Experts reminding drivers to take extreme caution while approaching any wildlife crossing signs. 18 Florida Panthers have died this year. Also, their number one cause of death being hit by a car. Mm.